All right, guys. Going to do y'all a quick video today on assembly of the operating system for the new N2 Dreadnought. This is to help y'all with troubleshooting and general maintenance of your marker. First off, the main housing should have four identical O-rings on it. Then you're going to use the multi-valve. Multi-valve is going to have two O-rings here, one in the front, one in the rear, and then should have a, a Delrin spacer right here. Slides in as simple as this, push it forward, pull it through. Next, you're going to use this spring follower to help keep the spring straight. Put the spring on top and screw the cage on. Next thing, I'm going to install the cylinder. Make sure the cylinder, when you put it in, has the groove facing upwards. Just like that. P push it in. Now, you're going to use the caulking rod, or the timing rod, whichever you want to get out of color. It. It's going to have a spring, a little Delrin spacer, and an O-ring. With another O-ring right here. Should be able to push it right in, keep it flat, all the way forward. Next thing, you have the timing housing, it goes in right behind it. Then we have the timing spool. Make sure both of these stay lubricated, they both have to be able to move. Timing spring. And finally, your color matched back cap. Alright, whenever y'all get these markers, it's entirely up to y'all. We suggest that you use something to keep both this and the cage from backing off. Uh, whenever you get to shooting the marker, you will see that these loosen. If you ever have an issue with your velocity or with chopping paint, more than likely one of those two have actually started backing out or the bolts started backing out. If you ever overpressurize the marker, this O-ring right here on the front of the multi-valve will blow off. Put it back on as long as it's not cut. Next, you're going to screw the bolt in. When you screw the bolt in, you're going to screw it in right up until it's flush. And then give it just a little bit of a turn back. You want it just with a small gap between it and the body so it doesn't make contact. Spring. Use a little nut that goes inside to the front. You tighten it up. Again, I would use a little bit of some type of Loctite in on that screw. You want to be able to get it off, but you want to make sure that it's not moving if you're in the middle of a game. And that's basically it, guys. If there's any issues, please feel free to give me a call. Other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy your Nova products. Thank you.